Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and CEO of Advamed, Scott Whitaker. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the MedTech Conference, the Global Summit for Medical Technology. I have to pause. That video back there, I was standing backstage and I was almost in tears. The wonders of medical technology and the impact we have on people's lives. I want to begin today with a few thank yous. I want to thank our chairman, Nadim Yared, for his leadership of Advamed. Special thanks to our conference chairman, Dal Wilson, and the program committee chairs, Joe DeVivo and Camille Fairhot. I also want to recognize Ray Briscuso, who pulls all the moving parts together into a very well-run event. It's not easy, Ray. I've done it before. And you and your team, once, once again, have done a terrific job. To our California friends, Biocom and its CEO, Joe Panetta, the California Life Sciences Association, and their CEO, Sarah Radcliffe. We appreciate your support, and we appreciate your hospitality. And lastly, I want to thank our friends from the Medical Device Manufacturers Association and their partnership this year. Mark, you're a great champion for the work we do in Washington, so thank you for being a part of this event. This industry has accomplished astonishing things in our short history. Here in this room, many of you have inspired generational leaps in medical technologies. You've created whole new fields of medical advances. And in many ways, you've explored new horizons and broken barriers. You've taken risk, and risks that truly matter. When he broke the sound barrier, American pilot Chuck Yeager used to talk about concentrating not on risk, but on results. No risk is too great, he said, when the job you're doing is necessary. Now, I doubt many of you have ever heard of another American pioneer, Elizabeth Fleischmann, an early radiologist at the turn of the century. Fleischmann risked and lost her life to radiation, but not before she had perfected the incredible diagnostic ability of x-rays. She knew the scientific marvel of her time would be a necessary part of modern medicine, and she was right. Today, like Chuck Yeager and Elizabeth Fleischmann and so many others, we want to take risk for the sake of life-changing results. This is a room full of disruptors, and this is an industry that's full of driven pioneers. We're always asking questions, always working to ensure our reach is just beyond our grasp. When we develop a new device, we don't stop there. We ask ourselves, what's next? And we keep moving, and we keep in innovating. But today, I would submit to you that what, what's next is no longer just a question. In fact, it's a declarative statement. Because what's next is MedTech. The greatest innovations are what's next. Unprecedented growth is what's next. Bullish investment is what's next. Life-altering technologies and patient care are what's next. Now, these aren't just lofty statements of hope. They're real reflections, I believe, of current trends. And to me, ladies and gentlemen, that is very exciting. AdvaMed's member companies create technologies that millions of people around the world depend upon every day. And everything we do is a means to the end of unleashing innovation to improve and save lives. Companies like yours have redefined advanced medical technology and with it modern life. Let me give you an example. 10 years ago, if you had told me I would be able to call my wife from my watch, I probably would have said you've been watching too many James Bond movies. But you know today, that's actually a reality. If you had told me even five years ago that I would be able to use that same watch to, water, to monitor my daughter's blood sugar levels, she's at 192 right now, I wouldn't have believed that either. But yet today, that's a reality. If I had said that codes written for 3D printers are being used this week to create prosthetic hands for children with birth defects, most Americans wouldn't believe that either. Watches and cell phones to monitor blood sugar, 3D printers to create prosthetic limbs, artificial intelligence that today diagnoses melanoma. All of these things exist today. Now, just as none of us can really remember what life was like 
before smartphones and live streaming music or even Uber, we're about to step into a world when we will see remarkable medical technologies become commonplace. What we do is only going to get bigger. So let's pause for a minute and take a look at the future. What if by 2050, life expectancy is more than 100 years? What if by 2050, instead of watches displaying blood sugar levels, we have micro laboratories implanted in our bodies that predict illnesses before we ever get sick? Or what if, in addition to 3D printers making prosthetics, we have 3D printers creating custom biomechanical organs, stopping progressive disease right in its tracks? Or that same artificial intelligence that today diagnoses melanoma, what if by 2050 it can be used to flag real-time health data to predict heart attacks before they even happen? For us, ideas like this are not only completely possible, they're a sure thing. And the year 2050 is not that far away. Consider this. This year, more than 12 billion devices are part of the Internet of Things. Everything from cars with Wi-Fi to interactive refrigerators. And this number is expected to grow even bigger, to 50 billion in just three years. And just as the Internet of Things is experiencing explosive growth, so too will the universe of medical devices. And this is not just a pipe dream. The world's most valuable resource today is data. More and more data-driven medical devices are already a part of our lives. And based on the exponential growth in the number of clinical trials for devices in the last decade alone, those numbers are only going to get bigger. If we succeed in growing our markets globally, and I believe we will, imagine the impact we will have on medical care for health and for wellness more broadly. Imagine the value these successes will drive both inside and beyond the industry. Revenue surges, job creation, and lowering the cost of health care. That is the essence of what's next. And you know, not enough Americans understand the important role we play, or frankly, give us enough credit for the innovation we bring. Think about this. We are in the room for the birth of every child, for the final moments of life, and every step in between. A hospital is nothing more than bricks and mortar without the technology we provide to save lives. Advances in care delivery ride on the wings of our innovations. Now, we don't seek the recognition, but frankly, I think more should be directed your way, given all that you do for millions of patients every day. So you're sitting there thinking, OK, Scott, nice speech, nice vision. I can clearly get behind that. But tell me, what's the catch? Who or what stands in our way? Now, I know this may come to you as a surprise, but things in Washington have been just a little bit chaotic the past year. But I will say that's not going to affect our vision for the future. We have more power in this room than most governments around the world. We have the ability to improve lives worldwide, to create jobs and prosperity, to open and expand markets and unleash innovation. Sure, we'll pay attention to Washington. That's my job. That's what I do. But we, together, can do this. Because when new payment models reflect what's best for both med tech and patients, we are what's next. When the regulatory atmosphere is fair and predictable, we are what's next. And when the policy environment is right, we are what's next. We are what's next because we take our responsibility in this healthcare ecosystem very seriously. We are risk takers of the highest order. And at the same time, we never lose sight that we must also be caretakers as well, putting patients first. They are the ones who are counting on us for results, and results we will give them. 2050 will be here in no time. 
along with all the breakthroughs we're working on today. But we must work collaboratively and thoughtfully. We must always remember our mission is to grow our industry in a way that is patient-centered, outward-looking, and never-ending. Let's continue to improve lives by unleashing innovation. Let's keep being risk-takers and also caretakers. And let's show the world that we are what's next. Thank you.